Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one, today is 19th day of March, being Saturday and week two of Lent. Today, the solemnity of St. Joseph, the spouse of Blessed Virgin Mary. And readings will be coming from 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 4 to 5. 12 to 14 and verse 16. A response of Psalm will come from Psalm 89, verse 37 A. A second reading will come from the St. Paul letter to the Romans, chapter 4, verse 13, verse 16 to 18, and verse 22. A gospel message will come from Matthew Gospel, chapter 1, verse 16, verse 18 to 21 and 24. The theme of our message today is promise fulfilled. You see, God makes a lot of promise to all of us. And obedience to him will bring to fulfillment all the promises he's made. He made. He's ever faithful to his promises. He said, everything will pass away, but not my word. Everything will pass away, but not my word. You can see in Matthew chapter 5, verse 18. We are told that Jacob was the father of Joseph. The husband of Mary, or whom just Jesus was born, who is called Christ. Now, the birth of Jesus Christ took this took place like this, in this way. When the mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, it was discovered that the lady was pregnant with a child, conceived of the Holy Spirit. And Joseph, when he discovered this, didn't want to put the woman to shame. He wanted to send her away quietly. As he was considering this, how to send her away quietly. How can I marry a woman? And both of us agreed we live a chaste life. How come and then that he became pregnant? Hmm? And so this, she deci he decided, as he was considering this, the angel of God appeared to him in a dream in the night. And so Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to take your wife, Mary. She's conceived by the Holy Spirit. And the child is conceived by the Holy Spirit. And the name he will give this child is Jesus. He will come to save his people from sin. And after Je Joseph had this message in the morning, and got up, he carried out what the angel told him and took by the wife. And that he became the spouse of the Virgin Mary. And that how Jesus was born in the house of David. And that way today you can see in the verse somewhere, God made a promise to David. The word of the Lord came to Nathan, go and tell David my servant, thus says the Lord. When your days are fulfilled and you lay, you lay down with your fathers, I will raise up an offspring from after you who shall comfort from your body. And I will establish his kingdom. He shall build me a house, build a house in my name, for my name. And I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I'll be his father and he will be my son. One of your house and your kingdom shall be made sure forever. You see? Before me, your throne shall be established forever. You see, that the promise made to David that the kingdom of, will remain in his house forever. You see it now be fulfilled. Jesus came from the house of David. And his kingdom will not come to an end. And no person can destroy it. 
And that's why Paul began to tell us about the promises of God again. He said, brethren, they promised to Abraham and his descendants that they should inherit the world did not come to them through the law, but through righteousness of faith. They are faith in God. That is why all depends on faith. In order that the promise may rest on grace and being guaranteed to all his descendants, not only to the people who are adherents of the law, but all to those who share the faith of Abraham. He is the father of all. As it was written, I made you the father of many nations in the presence of God whom you believe, who gave life to the dead and called into existence the things that never existed before. In hope, he believed in hope that he could be, that he should be the father of many nations. As he had been told, so shall your descendants be. That is why his faith was reckoned to him as righteousness. He believed God. I will be the father of nations. And you have seen being fulfilled today. The son of Abraham. The descendant of Abraham will be the that forever. And now what the psalmist who understood this so well today, this said, his descendants should continue forever. His descendants will continue forever. Do you see the promise? And the descendant of David continue forever. And the descendants of Abraham continue forever. And now why today we celebrate St. Joseph, the husband, the spouse of Blessed Virgin Mary. A man set apart to guide the Holy Family. To be able to look after the Holy Family. A very chest man a very honest man, a very disciplined man, and was able to shepherd the family to, great, to greatness and undertake all the duties assigned to him without looking back. I was totally obedient to God in all his, his ways. I was always ready to carry out the will of God, not his own will, whether he understands his will or not. And see Joseph today, that's the man God set apart to be the father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And now why the church celebrates him today as a solemnity, a great man of faith, a great instrument in our salvation of all of us, and a great instrument in fulfilling the promises of God in our lives. Because he was obedient. So our obedience will bring into fulfillment the promises of God in our lives. And Joseph today manifested it. May God help us understand that promises of God will be fulfilled if we are obedient to him. We ask through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us, and the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all, as we wish all the Josephs happy solemnity today. Mr. Dayano, Mr. Dayano, Mr.